Okay, in this video I'll be reviewing with you how to combine like terms and how to distribute. This is stuff you should have learned in previous math years, but sometimes it's good to get a little refresher. The first thing you notice on a problem like this is there's no equal sign. So you can't solve it. You'll never be able to figure out what x equals. You'll never know what y equals. All we can do is try to shorten this to make it as simple as possible. So let's combine, like it says, the like terms. So the first thing we'll look at is let's, let's start with the terms that have x's in them. I see one right there and one right there. So let's start by combining those. So let's think 2x and minus 5x. 2x minus 5x leaves us with a negative 3x. So those just get crossed off. And let's just rewrite everything that's left just for simplicity. So we'll just rewrite plus 3y minus 6 plus 4y and don't forget that plus 7. Alright, now let's work on the next thing. So we we're done with our x's, but now let's work on these y terms. Here's a plus 3y, there's a plus 4y. Those are like terms because they both have a y in them. So let's combine those. Let's rewrite minus 3x. What's 3y plus 4y? Well, of course, that is plus 7y. So now those are done. Let's rewrite what's left. Minus 6 and plus 7. And we've got one more round to go. We've combined the x terms. We've combined the y terms. Now let's just combine the regular old numbers. So let's rewrite what's left. Minus 3x plus 7y. And what is negative 6 plus 7? Well, that is just a plus 1. So there we've solved it. Well, we haven't solved it. There we have just combined like terms. We've simplified it. We've shortened it. So we still don't know what x equals. We still don't know what y equals. But we've at least simplified it. We've shortened it down to negative 3x plus 7y plus 1. In the next problem here, if I slide this up a little bit, now it's a little bit trickier. Now they throw in the parentheses. So now we're going to distribute and we're going to combine like terms. First thing we want to do is notice there's still no equal sign. We still can't solve it. We'll still never really figure out what x equals. All we can do is try to make it look a little cleaner and a little neater. Let's start by getting rid of those parentheses. What this really means here, this 3 with these parentheses, this means 3 times everything inside the parentheses. So, this is really going to be 3 times 2x, and this is going to be 3 times this negative 3 term here. Don't forget that negative sign. So let's do that first and get rid of those parentheses. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Let's now just rewrite what's left. Don't forget that plus 7 and the minus 2x. Now let's, we've done the distributing, now let's do the combining of like terms. So let's start with the x's. There's an x term there, there's an x term there. So let's do 6x minus 2x, and that leads to 4x. So we have gotten rid of those. Now let's just rewrite what's left. There's that minus 9, there's the plus 7. So let's, we've, we've done the x's, now let's work on those two plain old number terms there. So 4x, what's negative 9 plus 7? Well, that is negative 2. So we took this big long thing with lots of different terms with some parentheses thrown in, and we've shortened it down to 4x minus 2. Looks a lot nicer, we still don't know what x is, but at least it's easier to look at. Alright, let's do the last one little trick in this last one, a very common error. Um, we want to again distribute first, we want to combine like terms, there's still no equal sign so we can't solve it, but let's make it look a little nicer. And just like in the last problem, let's start by getting rid of these parentheses. What a lot of people want to do is they want to forget about this negative sign, but when we multiply here, this really means negative 8 times everything inside the parentheses. 
So don't leave off that negative sign. So this is negative 8 times x, negative 8 times negative 1. So let's do that first. Let's just begin by rewriting the 4x. We won't do anything with that yet. Now negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times negative 1 is a positive 8. Let's rewrite that minus 4 as well. And now we've gotten rid of the parentheses by distributing. Now let's just combine like terms. Let's start with the x terms. There's 4x minus 8x which combine to make negative 4x. 4x minus 8x is negative 4x, so we are done with those. Let's rewrite the remaining terms, plus 8 minus 4. Now we're done with the x's, let's just work on the numbers. So negative 4x, positive 8 minus 4 leaves us with a positive 4 so there is our final answer, negative 4 plus x. So that is combining like terms and it's distributing. We're just simplifying things down to make them look shorter, make them look smaller, and um, we cannot solve any of these. There are no equal signs. So that's it.